Hello, in this video I will demo how to launch a camel application and attach a camel debugger in a single click inside Eclipse desktop ID. So the first thing here is uh, here that I have I'm using the main XML example uh, for the demo uh, which is part of the camel examples. You can notice that we need to use the 3.16 version. Uh, this is required. One important thing is that there is a profile which is adding the camel debug dependency. Um, and so here we can activate it uh, also with a property for convenience. So to start, uh, we need to configure um, a Maven build configuration. I pre-configured everything to be sure that I made no mistake and explain them. So here I have a Maven build configuration, so to which say to start uh, the camel application and to activate the camel debug. I have another. So here it is a run configuration and I need a debug one uh, configuration. So, which is here, a okay, camel textual debug. So here, if I click on it, um, so I have just the default. Uh, if I create one, it will be uh, with the same default uh, configuration. So nothing to, to change here. And after I have a launch group uh, configuration. So here I grouped the Maven build to start the application and uh, the attached debugger. The little trick is uh, for the Maven build here. Uh, I say that we are waiting uh, for something in the console, which is uh, this sentence. Uh, so in fact, we are just waiting that the uh, camel debugger um, is ready that, that the GMX connection uh, connection is ready on the camel application side before trying to attach to uh, the camel uh, debugger here to it. Uh, and so with that, if I click on debug, uh, it will we see that it will start uh, the application. And as soon as it is ready, it switch uh, here the console to uh, the debugger and it has started the debugger. So now if I put a breakpoint in my camel route, uh, my debugger is attached and I can start to uh, investigate everything. That's all for today.